Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number two, microorganisms, and today I will deliver its 13th lecture. Before moving on towards our main lecture, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. For that, listen to the questions very carefully and then answer them. So, my dear students, quickly tell me, name any two diseases caused by microorganisms in animals and plants. Very good. In animals, it is rot foot and blue tongue. And then in uh, plants, it is ring spot and um, uh, <clears throat> leaf spot. These are some uh, diseases caused in plants and animals. So my dear students, now let's look at the student learning outcome for today. By the end of today's lecture, all the students will be able to recognize that microorganisms get transmitted into humans and spread infectious diseases. So previous lecture, we had different infections, thi, different diseases, which are human beings, ke andar, jo hai, wo pathogens or microbes jo hai, wo cause. Karte Today we will discuss ke unka transmission hota kaise hai, how they are transmitted into human beings and cause diseases. So my dear students, I swear what you see and what you do not see. So Allah Ta'ala jo hai, wo Quran e Paak mein firma rahe hai, ki kasam hai uski jo tum dekhte ho aur jo tum nahi bhi dekh paate. So bohat si aisi cheeze hai jo humari aankh se ojal hai, jo humme nazar nahi aati, but still they exist. So my dear students, now is the time for pre-reading question. Quickly tell me, that how pathogens will attack them. These two children and they are outside in a city. Uh, pathogens inko kaise attack karenge? Inko attack nahi kar sakte kyunke they have covered their mouth and if they will go back home and they will wash their hands, they are completely safe from the germs. Next on your screen, is he having contaminated food? Kya aapko lagta hai ki this man is having contaminated food? So, if he has bought the food from uh, vendors outside, say junk food, up lete hai, to wo is tarah ka jo food hota hai, wo aapki health ke liye kharaab hota hai, it is definitely contaminated by the germs. Iske alaga, alawa, agar aap haath dho kar khana nahi khayenge, tab bhi aapki germs jo hai aapke andar enter hone ke chances hai. So, my dear students, here jo germs hote hai, bacteria, virus and different parasites, they are the agents which cause diseases and the, such agents are called pathogens. ये जो है ये हमारे हाथों से हमारे मुंह के अंदर ओपन वूंड्स के थ्रू जो है ये हमारे अंदर एंटर होते हैं इसके अलावा ये जो जर्म्स हैं ये जब आपको लग जाते हैं तो ये एक दूसरे से भी ट्रांसमिट होते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वन बॉय इज हैविंग फ्लू एंड इफ ही विल नॉट टेक द प्रिकॉशंस वो अपने हैंड्स वॉश नहीं करेगा वो मास्क नहीं पहनेगा एंड ही विल नॉट कीप अ डिस्टेंस तो हो सकता है कि वो दूसरे बच्चों को भी बीमार कर दे इसके अलावा टॉयलेट से आते हुए हमेशा हाथ धोएं बिकॉज़ Toilet has a lot of germs there and if you will not wash the, your hands coming out of the toilet when you come out of the toilet, you can get sick, sick. and um, um, germs kaha rehte hain? Germs live everywhere around us. Humne inki jage padhi thi, bacteria, viruses, they are all around us. So they can make us sick. So my dear students, uh, transmission of pathogens, quickly open page number 30 in your science 5 books. I hope you have opened the books. Now let's read with me. Transmission of pathogens. Infection is the attack of an organism on the host's body. And when it starts reproducing itself in the host's body, this may cause serious diseases in the body. So my dear students, जब भी कोई infection जो है वो आपकी body के ऊपर attack करती है या किसी host यानी कि for example मेरे ऊपर अगर कोई infection जो है या किसी microbe ने हमला किया है तो क्या करते हैं कि the infection or the pathogen enters into our cells and then it starts multiplying and this is how the infection spreads into our body and we get sick. Now on page number thirty one, transmission of coronavirus. अभी लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स से आपको पता है कि कोविड-19 जो है वो बहुत ज़्यादा स्प्रेड हुआ है थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड इट वाज़ अ पेंडेमिक यानी कि ये एक वबा थी और वबा ऐसी चीज़ होती है जो वो हर जगह फैल जाती है और इससे बहुत ज़्यादा लोगों ने नुकसान भी उठाया डेथ भी हुई लोगों की तो ये कैसे ट्रांसमिट होता है कैसे जो है ये हमारे अंदर आ जाता है और फिर एक जगह से दूसरी जगह ट्रांसफर होता है सो so, Droplets of contam uh, containing the virus in the air 
सो so, जो वायरस है ये हवा में होता है उसके बाद जो ये वायरस है ये किसी भी इंसान की नोज के जरिए उसके हवा के जरिए जो है उसकी नाक में से एंटर होते हैं और फिर उसके मुंह से होते हुए उसके लंग्स में चले जाते हैं और जाके ये लंग्स को मैक्सिमम इफेक्ट करते हैं अगर ये ड्रॉपलेट्स जो हैं वो किसी जगह पर किसी इंसान को कोविड हो चुका है और उसको खांसी आती है या फ्लू आता है एंड दोज ड्रॉपलेट्स फॉल ऑन एनी सर्फेस एंड इफ एनी वन विल टच दैट सर्फेस दैट पर्सन विल ऑल्सो गेट करोना वायरस so the infected person um, that has corona virus in him he must keep distance from other people and if he will not keep the distance the other people who does not have corona virus they will also get affected so my dear students this is how corona virus uh, enters into a healthy body hawa mein hai ye so that's why aapko bataya jata hai ki aap mask pehne iske ilawa jisko corona ho chuka hai उसको क्या करना चाहिए कि उसको अपने मास्क अपनी नोज को कवर रखना चाहिए अगर वो अपनी नोज को कवर नहीं रखेगा तो या उसको खांसी आएगी तो इसकी वजह से क्या होगा कि ड्रॉपलेट्स जहां पर भी गिरेंगे एंड इफ ए हेल्दी पर्सन टच दैट प्लेस ही विल आल्सो गेट करोना वायरस एंड इफ यू विल नॉट यू विल नॉट मेनटेन अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ सिक्स फीट फ्रॉम द अदर पर्सन यू मोस्ट लाइकली गेट इफेक्टेड सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हेयर अगेन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स कैन एंटर इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी इन द फॉलोइंग वेज अब ये जो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स या पैथोजन होते हैं ये हमारी जिसम में कैसे दाखिल हो सकते हैं थ्रू आर स्किन डर्टी हैंड्स आर द मेजर सोर्स ऑफ जर्म्स एंटरिंग द बॉडी बिसाइड्स बूंस एंड स्क्रैचेस आर द एंट्री पॉइंट्स फॉर जर्म्स इनटू द बॉडी टेटनेस कॉजेस ड्यू टू बैक्टीरिया दैट एंटर इन द बॉडी थ्रू कट्स ऑन द स्किन सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हमारी जो स्किन है उसके ऊपर बहुत ज़्यादा जर्म्स लग जाते हैं क्योंकि हम बेयर हैं हमारे हाथ जो है ये चीज़ों को टच करते हैं सो वी मस्ट कीप ऑन वॉशिंग हैंड्स मोर ऑफन इसके अलावा अगर आपको कोई भी कट लग गया है कोई वूंड है कोई जल गया है रगड़ लग गई है आपको कोई रैश आ गया है इट मस्ट बी कवर्ड अगर आप उसको कवर नहीं करेंगे तो यू स्किन इज ओपन फ्रॉम दैट प्लेस एंड जर्म्स कैन मोस्ट लाइकली एंटर थ्रू दैट वूड और स्क्रैच प्रेजेंट अराउंड यू ठीक है तो इस वजह से हमेशा अपने जख्मों को कवर करके रखा करें then animals bites of animals dog cat rat etc and even of insect mosquitoes transfer germs into the human body so my dear students agar koi janwar aapko kaat le to uske bite se bhi germs jo hai ya microorganisms jo hai wo aapki body ke andar enter ho sakte hain aur aapko infection jo hai wo cause kar sakte hain mosquito ke kaatne se bhi germs aapki body mein enter hote hain aur aapko bimar kar sakte hain dengue jo hai it is also a disease jo ke mosquito ke kaatne se hoti hai नाउ कंटेमिनेटेड फूड अगर आप जर्म्स वाला खाना खाएंगे तो भी आप बीमार हो सकते हैं गंदा पानी पीने से भी आप बीमार हो सकते हैं सो कंटेमिनेटेड फूड एंड वाटर अनहाइजेनिक एंड पुअरली कुक्ड फूड्स एंड कंटेमिनेटेड वाटर ऑल्सो प्रोजेस जर्म्स दीज जर्म्स डायरेक्टली एंटर इन टू आर बॉडी वेन वी ईट कंटेमिनेटेड फूड एंड नेक्स्ट इज एयर हवा से भी जरासीम हमारे जिसम में दाखिल होते हैं माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम ऑफ फ्लू टी बी कफ करोना एंड are transmitted into the air due to sneezing or coughing of affected person when healthy person inhale in such an environment germs enter into their body agar kisi insaan ko flu hai cough hai corona virus hai to agar aisa shakhs khansi karega ya cheekega to uski jo droplets hain wo hawa mein jo hain wo germs jo hain wo aa jate hain and if a healthy person will inhale such air wo aisi hawa ko apne andar muntakil karega to most likely that person healthy person will also get affected so in tarikon se jo hai germs ya microorganisms ya pathogens jo hain wo aapki body ke andar enter hote hain and they make you sick so dirty hands make you sick contaminated food or water can make you sick and if you will inhale um uh, unhealthy air or then you can also get sick If you are bitten by an insect or a mosquito uh, or an animal, you can also uh, get sick or transmit uh, microorganisms in yourself. Now is the time for worksheet. For worksheet, you can download it from the description box below this video, or you can get it in print form by your teacher. 
So my dear students, transmission of pathogens, write down your name and your roll number. Look at the picture below and explain how the germs spread right in three sentences. You can see a sick person, he is coughing and how this healthy person can get sick. You have to write it down in three sentences. When the unhealthy person will cough, <coughs> the germs will, uh, 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 will be added into the air. And if the healthy person will inhale in such an environment, he can also get sick. So this is how you will write down in your own words about this picture. So now we will move forward towards your exercise given on page number 34, exercise B, question number 7. List the ways by which an infection spreads in living organism. आप वो different ways लिखे हैं जिससे जो infection है my body में लोगों के अंदर जो है वो living organisms में spread होती है through air, food, water and open wounds, bites of animals and insects. They can transmit pathogens into healthy human beings. So this you will do this question in your notebook. So now is the time for evaluation. Quickly answer this question. Explain the transmission of microorganisms through skin. Very good. If you have open wounds and rashes, then microorganisms or pathogens can enter through your skin into your body. And if you will not wash your hands, you have um, germs on your hands, then you, they can also get uh, through your mouth and you can get sick. How can contaminated food and water be harmful? So uh, unhealthy water, unhealthy food, they have germs in, in them and when you eat it, the germs directly enter through your mouth into your body and they can make you sick. So my dear students, now quickly note down your homework. So for homework, you will do exercise A, um, MCQ, hai, MCQ number 8, Ali got flu, he possesses coronavirus. After some days, people close to Ali also suffered from COVID-19. The virus might be transferred from Ali to others through talking and coughing, sh um, shared food, exchange of articles, all of these. All of these, of course, whenever you are sick and you think that your disease is contagious, so you must keep a distance uh, from the affected person. Now is a project. Uh, Pakistan is suffering from coronavirus, smog and dengue widely. It is need of all to make students aware about transmission and preventive measures of these calamities. Prepare a list at least five flyers on the above given topic, dengue, smog and coronavirus and distribute them in your neighborhood so that we all may keep ourselves safe. So my dear students, you can perform this project at your homes. What you need to do is you need flyers for it and you can prepare them by yourself or you can also get it in print form um, from the website. So here are the flyers. You can make them and you can distribute them in your homes. I have made different flyers and you can distribute them among your relatives, your siblings, your friends and this is how you can create awareness. Must wear mask, keep a distance of six feet, wash hands more often and um, um, st uh, if you are affected then stay away from the uh, affected people. So what I did, I um, made flyers and distributed the flyers in my office and also to some neighborhood kids so that the, everyone can keep themselves safe. So this is how you can um, spread the flyers in your neighborhood, in your family, in your friends to keep everybody around you safe. So you will perform this project at your home and now we will move forward towards the wrap up of the lesson. We learned four different ways by which microorganisms can enter human body through skin, animal bite, contaminated food, water and air. So my dear students, today we have contamination or transmission of pathogens from different means to our body. We have learned how many different places pathogens in our body enter and they make us sick. I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture. In the next lecture, students will learn the ways of prevention from microorganisms. Now, in the next topic, uh, aap, kaise aap prevent kar sakte hai, microorganisms se. we will study about that. Until then, keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.